Alright, let's try this again, but this time don't get crushed by the blocks. What I did is I just tapped the red it bumper instead of uh, slowing down time. There you go. There you go. That's how not to die. I kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Get out of there. Get out of there. She was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, tire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. Do you know I'm very happy with it? They didn't use uh, quick time events that time around. You understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. Snippity snappity. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Okay, he is not just a normal cab driver. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. What's on your mind, sweet cheeks? Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. So this really depends on what theory of time travel you 
believe in if you believe in the multi-dimensional theory such as the one that Trunks was in in Dragon Ball Z even though he changed the past it didn't change the future for him you know what I mean anytime I can relate relate things to Dragon Ball Z I do so <laughs> Patch. This is the guy that visited me in the cell. Hmm. Sounds like Serene's on to him. According to Monarch Communications, Hatch sabotaged a Monarch lab. He may be undermining Paul, Radford, and, uh, but I get the impression he's not on our side. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Because he has it in his about office. It? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. It's behind this door. Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. It's precious. And weird. No, oh, the door leads to here, which is nada. All right, Miss Sophia. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. What did you find? How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? The power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning. The machine was activated. 7 a.m. Numbers don't lie. The hell do I get? Hey, I guess I'm doing some climbing. Can't sure. Says me to volunteer it. Uh oh. <laughs> Next one. I feel like she's about to give me the gigantic screw right here. It's a trap. It's a trap. Console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. It's a perfect place for a reset switch, Will. This is not safe. I want hazard pay for this. Okay, the first red light is now green. Okay, she might have been right. <coughs> there are these computers over here. Hey Jack, come check this out. Oh, there's a back entrance. Where are you at, Nick? Don't leave me hanging, Jack. I got the goods. Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Yeah, but I figure what I'm doing is more important. Which is... Okay, what is all this? I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. You gotta see this video I found, man. Check out the TV. And everything else I, I put on those tables over there. That CRT. Okay. Oh. The date is. Oh, the date is. It's. It's February twenty eighth. Jesus. Will. William Joyce. Nineteen ninety nine. Right. After months. First experiment. Of arduous work. My machine is finally ready for 
human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built the time machine, and it works. I'm gonna prove it, or die. Okay, just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay, core is active. Chronon levels are stable. Travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. Corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive, but I can't travel backwards in time only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Okay, machine's ready. Monitor is stable. What I'm about to do is gonna change the very fabric of just happened looks like he tested time travel with rats first why am I not surprised that Will's hamster was a test subject it looks like Schrodinger got a raw deal uh, I try to forget that period oh my god please say there's a CD Schrodinger's Dude, cat. I already got it in the stereo. Yes. Check it out. Job. God damn it, you guys. Wow. You know, this song really speaks to me. Uh huh. Your true weapon is obviously the healing power of your music. I mean, it's not even that bad. I could totally vote. Thanks, Nick. You've it's got to be giraffe. kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. Kept everything. Hmm. Guess you thought you might come back. Spies are all like booby traps all over this place. What's wrong? Toto. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. Man, that is some cryptic shit. All uh. right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. Jesus. Notebook was full of dates, 
events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. I don't know if I would want to know my exact future. What would be the surprise and the mystique about it all? What's in here? Looks climbable. What's through here? This is the back entrance. There was a chronon point back here, wasn't there? Oh, so this is a shortcut now if I want to get through here. Okay. Let me get my Assassin's Creed shoes on for a second here. Parkour! Hi! Exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building this thing. Hey. Of course. I'm still getting used to that. Don't expect to. Can I break that? Okay. <laughs> it wasn't hundred percent. Sir, I'll take that. That's two of three. Hit your maintenance controls here. All right, all lights are green. Systems are a go. I can drop down here by the looks of it. Don't get pulled into the gigantic centrifuge. <laughs> Set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? Bad things about to happen. Very this bad is it. things. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan, tie her up, and get as far away from here as you can. Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry. Well, she kind of jumped the gun there. Couldn't you have just waited for me to go through the gate instead of eager little beaver? Time. 